Hi, this is Marvin with Precision RV Service. How is everybody doing? Uh, drove to a customer doing another quality solar installation. This time it happens to be on a 27 foot front bedroom Airstream. We're doing 600 watts of solar on the roof. We're doing 300 amp hours of Lifeline AGM batteries an MPPT controller and a uh, pro remote with a battery monitor feature which is in my opinion one of the utmost features anybody should have without a battery monitor it's like driving your vehicle around with no fuel gauge you just don't know where you stand we'll go inside next so here we go inside this is a 27 FB Bedrooms in the front, doors in the rear. I ended up placing the uh, remote for the solar with the battery monitor on the end kitchen cabinet. We'll do a little bit more with that later. Walk down into the front bedroom. We still got the bed apart, just like we saw before. This is the front storage. Um, there's the two six volt. AGM batteries, 300 amp hours total, 150 usable, all the old Airstream electronics. Um, he had a 600 watt inverter he's going to stay with for now. Um, back to the Blue Sky remote. If we turn everything off, nothing on on the RV, the base load of this RV with the disconnect battery disconnects in the on position, meaning the coach is still powered. Then the amp draw, it's a little hard to see, is right around one amp. Turn the light back on. If I turn the battery disconnect switch to off, now that kills the 12 volt distribution panel for the RVs, so nothing in the RVs running. And now the amp draw drops down to about 0.2. There's a little bit to run the uh, solar controller and the remote here. But this is where a battery monitor is invaluable. It tells you real time what's happening with the batteries. Let's turn the switch back on. Now that we turn it on, it's going to slowly raise up back to that one. And just for an example, I'll, he has LED lights. Let's turn the lights on. Now we have the lights on here. And now the amp draw with the lights on went up to three amps total. So here we are on the roof. It might be hard to see with the glare. The wind's blowing really bad as well. But we did, like I said earlier, we did 600 watts, fairly typical on an Airstream of this size. Two panels on the driver's side. We got four panels here, monocrystalline, going down the passenger side, all nice and neat and tidy. As you can see, I'm here in a storage area and we've got Airstreams everywhere. Looks like a few more people could use some solar. All these RVs sitting in storage here, not plugged in, the parasitic draw, the natural discharge of batteries every month, flooded batteries are more than AGMs and more than lithium, and this is how batteries end up going bad in a very short time. Again, 600 watts of solar on a 27 Airstream, very neat and tidy, came out really nice. Talk to you later.